Huh. I suppose that's the extent of what you'll give me. Does this mean I'm free? Foltest, King of Temeria, has been murdered. Unfortunately for you, you're the only suspect. The murderer outsmarted you, so I'm to rot in this dungeon. Oh, no danger of you rotting. You'll hang. Convince them otherwise. I have no influence over the court. What if someone vouched for me? You have a witness. I was thinking of Triss. Were she not your lover, who knows? But it's common knowledge she is. What happened to her? Well, she's fine. She's been invited to the next meeting of the Council of Regents. Voltes told me a lot about you. If not for him, I'd be a drunk or a vagrant. Voltes did more for me than my father ever did. But then my father did exactly nothing, for I never even met him. In any case, I'll not rest until the murderer is punished. Tell me how you serve, Vernon. I carry out orders others are incapable of executing. What's the situation in Temeria? The Council of Regents has convened to restore order. That means three things. Utter chaos will prevail, Visima will run dry of wine and strong drink, and the local whores will make a killing. Is Trist participating in the meetings? Indeed. Only to find out that she's no longer needed. How do you know? It's my business to know. They want to run a kingdom without a sorceress? They already have a kingdom without a king. They'll use every opportunity to get rid of her. Who will rule? The chief contenders are Count Maravel and Baron Kimbold, who already tussle for control of Lavalette Castle. What about Foltest's bastards? The king's blood runs in their veins. So yes, they are entitled to the throne. Not some drooling nobles. For fuck's sake, you command the Blue Stripes. Do something. The real murderer is free, and he's further and further away with every hour you spend prancing around in here. I find the killer monk story unconvincing. I don't claim he was a monk. He was wearing a frock, though. He sailed off in a boat with some scoyotel. Would you recognize him? No problem. A mountain of meat. Never seen anyone bigger. What would you do if you escaped? I'd go after the Kingslayer. You know where to look for him? Some Scoia'tael helped him escape. That's where I'd start. I expect you might know this particular group of elves. How'd you work that out? They wore blue striped masks. Trophies, I expect. Yorveth's commando. I know where to find them. We've a trail to follow after all. If you want to start over and take it easy this time, get me some food. Now that you mention it. Vess! Bring us food and drink. <laughs> Shame you didn't think of that earlier. It's your own fault, Geralt. Your fate is in your hands. Thank you. Never heard of women serving in the Special Forces. This is one of my best people. How'd she wind up in the Blue Stripes? I pulled her from the paws of the Scoia'tael. Just sixteen when they torched her village and slaughtered everyone. The unit commander took a liking and spared her. One last thing. This file is about one Geralt of Rivia. And Foltest's death? Actually, Geralt's death. The report details events from five years ago.
Rivia. Population 1,234. In that, 253 non-humans. September the 25th, 1268. A riot erupts. A massacre ensues. Streets run with the blood of elves and dwarves. One person finds the courage to face the raging crowd. During the rioting, 76 non-humans perish, including the witches Geralt of Rivia. Stabbed in the chest with a pitchfork by a man of whom we know only that his name was Rob, and he owed three crowns at the local tavern. Yennefer of Vengerberg dies trying to heal the witcher. The bodies of Geralt and the sorceress are taken away by a mysterious young girl with ashen hair. Their place of internment remains unknown. I remember. Rivia. Yennefer. What just happened? I saw... I saw my own death. And the rest? Have you regained all your memory? That's all. I just remember the end. Vess! <laughs> Interrogation's done. Restrain the prisoner. I'll take the key. I sail up river at dawn. Guards will collect you in five minutes. Eat. You'll need your strength. Yesterday, he was a hero, pretty much. Everyone's man. Personally saw him cut down 20 men in the blink of an eye, so it's no surprise. Hmm. See him dashing along those walls? Can't rightly say I ever saw his sword the blade move so fast. I thought that beast would tear him to bits when it came out of the clouds. Delayed don't mean denied. Hangman will do that tomorrow. <laughs> I'll not touch this gum. I get scurvy. Right. Hangman will do it. He's poxy already. Guard. Come here, good man. Why are you hollering? Do that again and we'll shut you up. You wouldn't say that if these bars weren't here. Is that so? Let's see. Your guts out! Oh, <laughs> my 
damn torches. I can't sneak out in this light. What was that? One more time, I'll puke on the horse on. Everyone, guards, over here! Carving. Wanted me inside? Here I am. What the fuck else do you want from me? What are we... You tell him! Mr. Boy, he is hard with money. <laughs>
I am Shilad Fitz Estelin, emissary of the Empire of Nilfgaard and its most divine emperor, Emir Var Emrys. What do you want of me, Nilfgaardian? Simply to speak, my lady. Ah, really? Something you would not dare were my son still alive. I very much regret the death of the Baron Lavalet. Please accept my deepest condolences. Yet it is precisely his loss that renders our conversation mutually desirable. Let go of me. I shall walk unaided. I shall return, rogue! And I shall repay you. Let us go, my lady. Your cries can do us no good. Huh! <laughs> 
Come in, Master Geralt. Allow me to introduce the Baroness Lavalette, mother to the royal children, who at present mourns the passing of her eldest son, Milady. I comfort the Baroness with assurances that House Lavalette needs suffer no more, its future brighter as it stands protected by the Empire of Nilfgaard. Did you kill my son, Arian? Milady, I wouldn't trust the Ambassador if I were you. Master Geralt, let us be serious, please. Let him speak. I wish to hear this. I didn't know your son, but I know he saw the Empire as a foe, as did King Foltest. You've no notion of the events transpiring in the Kingdom. Of what Kimbolt, Maravel, and their ilk are capable. My duty is to Foltest's children, their safety. And though I too, see a pact with Nilfgaard as a pact with the devil. I feel I have no choice. Besides, can you say that you really knew the king? Well enough to be confident of my words. Truly? In that case, what kind of a man was he? I wish to know your view. Those of my profession generally live longer by not judging the nobly born, especially crowned heads they're accused of murdering. If there's any truth to the accusation, you stand to lose nothing by speaking. I didn't kill Foltest. What's more, I intend to find the man who did. The Ambassador questioned your guilt. It seems now that I too believe you did not slay the King. Your Excellency, you will aid the Witcher to escape the castle. That is my wish. But, my lady, this would represent an immeasurable risk in my estimation. And there is the matter of your son. He chose his fate, and departed in a manner worthy of the Lavalettes. How am I to believe you'll protect me from reptiles like Kimbolt and Marava when you balk at the notion of deceiving a few prison guards? My lady, I shall do what is in my power. Give me a moment, Witcher, then proceed to the main gate. in the dungeon. Restrain him immediately. But... One more word, soldier, and I shall personally make certain you hang beside the fugitive. To the dungeon, on the double! <laughs> Here. 
close it, would you? You were to sneak out. Avoid anything resembling a bloodbath. You left me the key to my manacles, not an invisibility cloak. Triss, is everything all right? Not exactly. I'm no longer the royal advisor. I've lost my post, my home in the Zima. Witcher's mistress, they call me. Kingslayer's whore. Triss, you put yourself out there. An interregnum is chaos by definition. Rats like Baron Kimbolt and Count Maravel rule Temeria now, or strive to. But no one save old Natalis can restore true order. Natalis is far away and of low birth. The crown simply out of his reach. Baron Kimbolt, on the other hand. Politics is secondary right now. Vernon, learn anything new about the Kingslayer? A week ago I got a message from an informer in Flotsam. He saw Yorveth in the company of a large, bald man, not unlike the one you described. A week ago? Sounds like a cold trail to me. We need to start somewhere. The trading post is a few days upriver, in the forests that lie on the Adernian border. Yorveth's territory. Flotsam it is, then. Triss. Yes? I'm a bit beat up. Will you look at my wounds? Mm-hmm. Let's go below deck. And I need you to tell me about Yennefer in detail. I want to hear it all, even the things you don't want to tell me, even the things that might hurt. Prepare to cast off! Clear the lines and all aboard! Lines clear, Captain! War is a good time to forge friendships, alliances. Harry and Lavalette, busy building walls and forging swords for Gotland. When he was gone, those he loved were forced to forge friendships with those he hated. Life can't be easy for anyone who's unlucky enough to be labeled a regicide. That goes triple for someone like Geralt. Could his luck get any worse? I've known the Witcher for a long time, and I'm sure that kings, courts, and politics concern him about as much as last year's snow. But hey, life doesn't always dole out what we expect, right? Sometimes it even forces us to associate with unsavory characters like Vernon Roach. No, I'm not making any excuses. And yes, I had my reasons. The Witcher spent most of the way to Flotsam talking to someone. Long into the evening, as water lapped against the boat's side, Triss told him forgotten stories of his unexpected child and his toxic relationship with a sorceress named Yennefer. Stories of a life stolen from him. Am I boring you? Don't set this tale aside. Give me just a few minutes more, for someone special's about to appear in dire straits upon a scaffold.
sheathe your sword, Elf. I'm here to talk. Bow low. You stand before a head crowned. That of Demavand, King of Edurn, by the grace of the gods. Sovereign of the Pontar Valley, and so on. And you are? A friend to non-humans. I have an offer. Speak quickly and to the point. The Arrakis will soon return, and I'd rather know all before then. I can add several more heads to this one. Each crowned. Go on. Foltest to start with. I barely escaped in Edirn. I'll need help. Access to your hideouts and maps of your secret trails. And the support of the Scoyatel. I want no gold and have no interest in Achilles' fame. Then why do you wish them dead? It's a long story. Your beast nabbed his necker. Time to go. Do we have a deal, Elf? Flotsam should be just beyond the point. We'll take the beach. Who's we? You and me. Reconnaissance. I'm coming too. You should stay behind. We can't be sure of the reception we'll get. Precisely why I won't let you go alone. Someone's got to look after you. That time of the month. Come on already! Your witch's ass is gonna have to get wet! Jump! Any news from your secret informer? The port's blocked. Some merchants are being held up for months. What about roads through the forest? Your vet rules the forest. Morning. Morning. Damn it. Very funny. But who does it belong to? Yorveth, maybe? I know more about the Pontar Valley than you think. For instance, I know that Foltest stole this land from Denevend a few years back. I believe you had a hand in that. Hear that? I smell an elf. <laughs> 